Shalom everybody and uh, welcome for this very special broadcast as we celebrate for eight nights Hanukkah and the light of Mashiach. My name is Rabbi Shapira and over the next eight nights I will be here with you to share a word, an important word that will carry us in our battle to overcome darkness as we see the light. You see, during Hanukkah, every night we are counting one of the eight names of the Mashiach. Tonight, on the first night, we are in Pele, miracle. The flip of the word Pele is the word Aluf, or Aleph, which is the name of God. Today, in Hanukkah, in the first night, I would like to speak to you for a moment about the greatest miracle of all. You're probably wondering, what is the greatest miracle of all that we should observe in today, especially? Especially in the time that we are living right now, where it's difficult to discern between light and between darkness, between good and between evil between truth and between light. You see, in Hanukkah, what we must thank God for is for this great miracle with giving us the ability, even in the midst of darkness, to recognize light, to recognize truth, to recognize His Torah, to recognize the Messiah. Let me talk to you tonight about the greatest miracle of all. It's a miracle that you should recognize. At the beginning of Hanukkah and the light of Mashiach, I wrote specifically in context of Rabbi Cook's own words. Listen to what Rabbi Cook is saying at the very beginning of the Chag tonight, that's something that we all have to recognize together. And I quote, it is necessary for each human to know and to understand that within himself there is a candle, and the candle is unlike the candle of his friend. He is unique. There is no person that does not possess a candle. It is necessary that each person acknowledge and understand that he must labor in great pain to reveal the light of the candle in his neighbor and help him light up the great flame to light the entire world. Tonight we are celebrating miracle. And let me tell you what is the greatest miracle that we celebrate. You see, the menorah or the Hanukkiah, they represent in its fullness the entire house of Israel. That's what the Hanukkiah represent. So every night we are adding one and adding one. We're not subtracting, we're adding until we get to the eighth night. And the eighth night, the number eight is the number that represents things that are above nature, things that are supernatural. And tonight, we're starting one, at the first candle, the first person. There is a reminder for us that in order to lead to the eight, which is the event that Shaul called all of Israel will be saved when the menorah is complete, the full salvation of Israel, have to go to number one. We have to go to the Pele and to recognize that it's truly one person at a time. I have a challenge for everybody this evening as we enter into those eight miraculous nights of Hanukkah. Find one person that you can impact in the next eight days and impact them. Light one candle, just one candle. 
This is my challenge to everybody here. You see, Rabbi Cook explained something very important. Each one of us is unique. Each candle, in essence, is going to be lit differently. And that's something that you have to recognize and reconcile in the back of your mind. But we can't reach every person the same way. I encourage you to look at one person in your life as you hold the shamash and you light it and ask, who is this person that I can light up in those days ahead of me? Who is this individual that I can light up and ask God for the wisdom on how to light it up because he's unique and you have to understand the uniqueness but also recognize something else. That although sin come, as it says in Isaiah 60, that sin will cover the earth. It's indeed covering the earth. There is no person that God has put in your life that cannot be lit up. And this is the miracle of Hanukkah. It's a miracle of humanity that no matter how dark things get, no matter how chaotic things get, guess what? You have an opportunity to find light. And that, friend, is an encouraging word from Rabbi Cook that each in every person, okay? There is no human being. And I might even speak to you tonight. Some of you today are in depth of darkness, are in depth of sin, are in depth of bondage. And you might say, I've went and I've gone too far. But you know what the Lord says in Hanukkah? There is a light in you. There is a light in you waiting to be uncovered waiting to be discovered and our role and our job in those last days is to find this light not just within ourselves but within each other that is the miracle that no matter how much dirt and soil you throw upon the fire to cut it down and to burn it down there is a spark that will remain and is remaining and it's ready to be resurrected and to be lifted up. We call it in Hebrew the gathering of the spark. You see those eight sparks of Hanukkah are a representation of the great gathering of the sparks that God has commanded us to do and to have in these last days. I encourage you to listen again to what it says here. You must go through labor and pain to uncover in each other this great light. So the question becomes this evening, if we are representative of the Shamash, if we are the servants, how do we light others? What is it that we have to do in order to light other? You see, during the time of Hanukkah, you had to have a special oil, a special, special oil that I will talk about throughout the Chag. This oil was so pure that it could light the menorah. You yourself have to have the special oil. In Hebrew, we call it the Meshicha the anointing upon yourself that you will be able to raise up any spark. To be able to take every spark, even if it's dim, and pour oil on it and see it become alive again. Ask yourself the question today, who in your life is a spark around you that is dying, that need today this extra oil to come alive in order for them to come alive the answer find inside you you are to pour the oil 
that is entrusted to you on them. And this oil has a name. It is the anointing oil of Mashiach. Today we are asking for more of Mashiach, but not for ourselves. It's for what will be poured out of us, a living and anointing oil that will be poured out from us upon the world. Today the world needs the light more than ever. But you see, if we just pour out the cheap gasoline, we will not be able to reach anybody because it's it's not going to be truly catchy. What we need is a special oil, a special anointing, a special mishka. It's the anointing of Mashiach ben Yosef. It's the anointing of Yeshua, a Mashiach. So the minag in the Chag is called the Gilui Ao. There is no greater mitzvah in Hanukkah than reveal the mitzvah of Gilui Ao, meaning taking a dying spark and light it up and make sure that the fire reach catch from one person to two, from two to four, from four to eight. Today, your task over the eight days is to go and to reveal light inside dark places, dark individuals, and dark situation. You see, it is said the following, according to our tradition. It is well known that if any of the dwellers of the house are not found in the house during the lighting of the candles, and they are to set to arrive for the ingathering of the Hanukkah, those waiting are required to wait for them. You see, we are required to wait upon one another. You might be light today and you might be growing, but consider in Hanukkah, look at your spouse, look at your children, look at your neighbors, look at your community. What you're going to find out that there are many around you who are the opposite of being lit up. They are dying down. Slow down. Share your light. Give some of your light out. Let your light shine before men. Why? So that they, they will see your good deeds and they will praise your Heavenly Father in heaven. In essence, your light it's not for you. It is for the benefit of light in darkness in the world around you. So let us go. Let us go today and recognize the miracle that inside each and every one of us there is light and nobody will die and nobody will perish. Because Kinuya is what you are going to do in the last eight days. Cycle, which lead us to the entire cycle. Let's pray. Lord, we are coming to you the first night of the we are asking you the revelation of the light. Help us reveal the light in a dark situation. The shoe is the call of the light. We need the light in order to share the light. So, I am the light of the world. Amen.